after we set up the bank, it's time to deposit some money into the bank and prepare it for the next series of discussion in regards to accounts payable and receivable. In this demonstration, I'd like to get started with setting up the journal ledger by providing a new journal name. By going through the journal names, I click new and I introduce the first type of daily journals. For the first demonstration, I call this a general journal. And indeed, remember that the first journal name that you created it was NSF via the bank. You could have created the journal right from the journal names, or you could have gone to the general journal and open up that form. And as you see, by clicking new, automatically it will create a brand new journal entry. If you pay attention to the journal batch number, this is a number sequence that has been generated by generate button on the number sequences. So therefore, the journal consider as a grouping of transactions that yet to be posted. So as you notice here, when I click on the name, there are no journal type as type daily. Even though I did have one journal name called customer payment is not appeared here. Journal types are showing you exactly where the journals can indeed be appeared and also you can group them by individual users and each specific journal name could have its own voucher series. So in this demonstration, I right click right from here, go to the view details and it will open up the same form as you saw before. Here I click new and I create the first journal name to be named Gen. It stands for general journals. Pay attention to the journal type. The journal type indicates daily. Any general journal that you are going to post within the general ledger has to be as type daily. Of course, there are other types of journals that we'll discuss throughout our training, but the first one would be daily. Similar to the rest of discussion that we have had before, we have to create a voucher series. So I right click from here and go to the view details and it will open up the number sequence form. Then I click new and I name this to be CGen. I like to identify this number sequence to only show all the number sequence voucher series to be related to a particular legal entity. In my scenario would be Seahorse Retailers, which is S-E-A-R. And as you can tell, I can specify the constant value and change the format the way I like. In this scenario, I modify the constant and I call it like general ledger daily procedures. Needless to say, you don't have to change the constant, but it would be a good idea for business intelligence reporting. So I call this dash gen dash and set this to be continuous. I close it. And as I indicated before in previous session, sometimes the caching, it would not show this specific number sequence on the drop down menu. All you need to do just type in the name CGen and tab over. You may want to remove the amount include sales tax if you are implementing this for a customer residing in the United States. I click close and then I switch back to the journal form and now the name appears. In order to set up the first data entry, I click on the lines and it will open up the line window. However, prior to that, let's take a look at some of the additional properties that are somewhat common between all the journal entries within the system. On the journal tab, as you can tell, you have the journal name, the description. You can specify the detail level to see if the transactions that you're posting, if they are coming from the same ledger accounts, like the same account, the same department, the same cost center. Would you like to summarize them into one entry when you post it? Or would you like to show it as detail? It's completely up to you. You could have also set this up on the journal name as well.